Hi, I'm James and thanks for tuning in to eBuyer. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at the Crucial P3, an awesome blazing fast entry level upgrade for those looking to supercharge their existing PC or build a new one with a super fast SSD. Now Crucial have obviously got a storied reputation when it comes to making fast storage drives from removable flash storage to something like this, which lives in your PC permanently. Now for those of you that don't know, SSDs are comprised of a few different generations, form factors, sizes and styles. The first gen of SSDs, which many people will still be rocking in their builds, are SATA SSDs. These connect up via a SATA cable and cap out at around about 600 megabytes per second in terms of speed. To give you an idea, this runs up to three and a half gigabytes a second or 3,500 megabytes. That's given you in the region of a six times performance increase over a SATA SSD. Compare that to a hard drive drives which are often even slower but obviously provide much more mass storage and this is potentially an incredibly appealing upgrade. With a range of generous capacities available we've got the one terabyte drive here so a thousand gigabytes of usable storage. There's a drive in this range for everyone and you can also head over to ebuyer.com and see the full range of crucial SSDs whether it's a bigger or smaller capacity of this drive or one that costs a little bit more money and provides slightly more performance. The newest standard of drives are what we call M M.2 SSDs. That's a drive like this that fits into a smaller M.2 form factor. It requires no cables and is easy to install, as I'll show you how in just a moment. Originally, when M.2 drives launched, some brands would take their older SATA drives and package them in an M.2 form factor, limiting the speeds to their old SATA standards, whereas this is a fully fledged Gen 3 NVMe. Since then, you can also now find Gen 4 drives, which push things even further if you've got a bit more cash to spend. This is a drive that's really designed for everybody, whether it's a DIYer, a general PC user, or even more of a hardcore gamer who's looking for an entry level fast storage solution. With a five year warranty, you're also backed in good hands by Crucial and Micron here. And if you take a look at the performance speeds, you get that 3.5 gigabytes a second or 3,500 megabytes a second on the read with 3,000 megabytes per second on the write. That's great to see as often some of the more budget oriented drives sacrifice write speed, meaning when you're copying files to the drive, installing new applications, you're going to get slower performance. But the differential here is thankfully quite a piece smaller. I'll be demoing how to install this onto a motherboard for a standard desktop machine. But it's worth bearing in mind this will also work in any compatible laptop with a Gen 3 M.2 slot of the right length. A drive like this is going to really help with boot up times in Windows. It's going to help with game load times and the general snappiness of your PC. When the system in the background is doing all of the stuff a general PC likes to do, having a fast storage medium helps to reduce or remove entirely the storage bottleneck. That's why for as long as I can remember, installing an SSD in a PC that either has an older slower SSD or at worst a hard drive has always been one of the best, if not the best upgrades you can make. So then you've been convinced and you've bought yourself a new fast SSD, but just how do you go about actually installing it? Well, if we take the SSD out of the box, you'll see you get some included documentation, the drive and a handy M.2 screw. So if your motherboard or existing laptop hasn't got one or you've just lost it, which is totally fine, then Crucial have got you covered. You're gonna take out the M.2 and it's gonna look a little something like this. So you can see here, it's got the name on it and the length, which is the 2280. That's the form factor of this particular drive. For this motherboard, I need to take off the integrated heat spreader. Not every board is gonna have one though. So just bear that in mind before taking the drive itself and just line it up with the slot. Now, if you can see here, our slot is more than long enough and AOK. Okay. The drive is then going to slide in at a 45 degree angle before being pushed down and you'll be able to see that this motherboard actually features a toolless installation method. If it wouldn't, you'd want to grab yourself a small screwdriver, smaller than a regular Phillips head, and add in a fastener screw just here, where the little cutout is on the end of the drive. If your motherboard has an included heat spreader, you can either leave this off for aesthetics or return it into place. Mine clicks in nice and easily and the drive is installed. It's then a simple case of going into Windows to initialize the drive but all of the power, data, and all that configuration will be handled by your motherboard or laptop, making things nice and easy. And that's basically it. You've installed yourself a new Gen 3 NVMe, and that wasn't quite so difficult. As I say, you can find the full range of Crucial M.2 drives over on ebuyer.com with the links down below. Thanks for tuning in, and as always, we'll see you here again over at eBuyer.